Thank you for giving your valuable time to join in this prayer. This prayer is for the Palestine-Israel conflict. Hopefully, with more and more people praying, it can bring real change there. So, let's start. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Heavenly Father. During the turmoil and suffering in the Holy Land, we come before you with heavy hearts, seeking your divine intervention and grace. The Palestine-Israel conflict has caused immeasurable pain and loss, touching the lives of countless individuals on both sides. We lift our prayers for all those affected, encompassing the victims, leaders and soldiers caught amid this prolonged strife. We want to pray for the victim. Our hearts ache for the innocent lives lost and the families shattered by the ravages of war. We remember the children whose laughter has been replaced by the sounds of destruction, the parents who grieve the loss of their loved ones, and the communities torn apart by violence. Your word in Psalm chapter 147 verse 3 reminds us that you heal the brokenhearted and bind up their wounds. We pray for your comforting presence to envelop those in despair, bringing solace and healing to the wounded and bereaved. We also lift the leaders on both sides of this conflict. Grant them wisdom, discernment and compassion as they navigate the complexities of negotiations and decision-making. Your scripture in Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14 tells us that where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counsellors there is safety. May these leaders seek counsel that promotes peace, justice and the well-being of their people. Instill in them a commitment to dialogue, understanding, and the pursuit of reconciliation. Our Lord, we want to pray for the men and women in uniform who find themselves on the front lines. Protect them from harm, both physical and emotional. Help them to navigate the challenges of war with a sense of humanity, recognizing the dignity of every life. May your words from Matthew chapter 5, verse 9 resonate in their hearts. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Guide them towards actions that contribute to restoring peace rather than perpetuating conflict. Lord, we also lift the international community involved in mediating and providing support. May their efforts be guided by impartiality, justice, and a genuine desire for lasting peace. Your scripture in Isaiah chapter 2 verse 4 paints a vision of a world where nation shall not lift sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. We pray for a day when this vision becomes a reality in the troubled region. We earnestly pray for the spirit of reconciliation to prevail over animosity and resentment. Help individuals on both sides to see the humanity in one another transcending the barriers of history and conflict. May your love and grace inspire acts of forgiveness, fostering an environment where healing and unity can take root. God, we lift those who tirelessly work to provide humanitarian aid and relief to those in need. In the face of scarcity and hardship, we pray for the agencies, organizations and individuals dedicating their lives to alleviate suffering. As your son, Jesus, multiplied loaves and fishes to feed the hungry, may the resources and assistance multiply to meet the pressing needs of the displaced, the hungry, and the vulnerable. We acknowledge the deep-seated historical wounds that contribute to the ongoing tensions in the Holy Land. We pray for profound healing of these wounds, recognizing that true reconciliation requires addressing the root causes of division and animosity. Your word in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 calls you to be ministers of reconciliation and we beseech you to empower individuals and communities to engage in conversations that foster understanding and empathy. Our Lord, we specifically lift the youth in Palestine and Israel. During the conflict, their dreams and aspirations often face overwhelming challenges. Your scripture in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 declares, 
For I know the plans I have for you, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. May the young generation find hope and resilience, and may their collective voice contribute to shaping a future characterized by peace, justice and cooperation. We pray for the emergence of courageous voices within both communities. Individuals who are willing to bridge divides, challenge extremism, and advocate for a just and lasting peace. Your words in Micah chapter 6 verse 8 remind us to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with your God. May those who speak out for justice and kindness be strengthened and protected becoming beacons of hope during darkness. God of unity, we lift the church and faith communities in the Holy Land. May they be agents of reconciliation, fostering a spirit of love and understanding among their congregations. Your commandment to love our neighbors extends across borders and conflicts, and we pray for the church to be a living example of this love. Grant the clergy and believers the courage to be peacemakers actively contributing to the restoration of harmony in the land. Lord of Wisdom, we pray for the pursuit of sustainable solutions that address the root causes of the conflict. Your word in James chapter 3 verse 17 guides us, But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. May those involved in negotiations and peace-building efforts embody this wisdom, working towards comprehensive and lasting solutions that promote the well-being of all people in the region. In the name of Jesus Christ, we entrust the complexities of the Palestine-Israel conflict into your loving hands, trusting that your mercy and grace will bring forth a transformation of hearts and circumstances. We offer these petitions with faith, hope, and an unwavering belief in your power to bring about peace in the Holy Land. Amen. Thank you for the time you spare to pray for others. May God bless you abundantly for all you do. May the power of our prayers make the world a better place. Amen.